But anyway, it was time for our main event. And this is what everybody came to see and what everybody bought the ticket to see, blah, 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 for the tag team title, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, against Roman Reigns and the Usos' brother Solo in the Bloodline Civil War. And I understand at the start they were in no hurry. They were milking it because the issue is over and Roman's over and they had to approach the family feud and build it and etc. But without trying to give anything away for later on, did this match need to be 33 minutes bell to bell? I hate to say this, but I did not give a shit about this match except for maybe like the last few minutes and then it was all about you're waiting for the story more than any of the actual matches with the bloodline. Hey, well, and, and also in the result, the finish, who's going to win? We were waiting for that. I can see having them again on this show already, 33 fucking minutes. And, and they built it where Roman and Solo were in control most of the time. Roman didn't show weakness early on. They got a long, deliberate heat. And I say long and deliberate heat. There was nothing wrong with it. If you were on a house show and you needed time and they built it, you know, but again, 20 minutes in, uh, they did a nice spot where Roman went for the Superman punch and Jimmy ducked and cross-bodied both of them over the top rope, took a great bump. And they gave the, the Uso some comebacks and some flurries there. That's where Roman at one point hit two Superman punches and went for a spear, but both the Usos were there and speared him and got a two count and solo saved. And they were really cooking at that point. And maybe they could have sped up the first 15 minutes, you know, just to get there a little quicker, but they, they did a lot of good shit back and forth. And as you mentioned, you know, the, by the last what, 10, 8 to 10 minutes, they were cooking. And they even did a referee bump, which you thought, okay, this is going to be it. And they're they're taking people on the ride at this point. And that's when Jay hit Roman with a super kick, and then they both gave him the 1D and covered him, and no referee is there. And then, so they continued the match, and that's where you probably thought, ah, shit, now the Usos are going to get fucked. That was their chance. Solo was dealing out spikes like crazy. Uh, Roman and Solo gave both the Usos rock bottoms. Solo spiked Jimmy and held Jay up, and Roman and Solo spiked and speared him together and then stacked Jay and Jimmy side by side, and Roman covered both of them. <laughs> the referee had crawled back in at this point, and they kicked out at two, and that got a big pop, and... <sighs> Honestly, you can't. The referee wouldn't count if he was covering both guys, but because of the fact that this whole deal is over and it got a huge pop, I'll allow it. Judgment for the fucking plaintiff or whatever. But then the heels get more heat, and finally, Solo's going to splash Jimmy through the desk off the railing, but he missed and went through the desk, and that took him out of the picture. And that's where Jay and Roman had a back and forth and Roman had him covered, but Jay nut shot at him. And then they super kicked him, both of them, about a half a dozen times and a splash off the top by Jay on Roman cover one, two, three, and the place blew up. And that's the first time that Roman has been pinned since, what'd they say, December 2019? I think something of that nature. Something Three and like a half that. years, thereabouts. Yeah. Um, it was the right finish, and it's still it, being beaten by two guys in a tag team match is different than putting a single guy over in a single match. And historically, world champions have lost falls in tag matches to set shit up. I didn't mind that. I th If they'd have beaten solo, people would have kind of been, eh because that's what you would expect. So, and, and obviously Roman wanted to get the family over. So the only problem I had was, goddamn, the first 15 minutes was, was a schlog, wasn't it? 
like I said, I didn't really care about the match. And it was a schlog, and it took a while. But they fleshed these things out, and they give these guys time. But I was waiting to see what was going to happen, and I was willing to sit through the match, even though it wasn't terribly exciting to me. Well, there you have it. 